What's up everyone, Tiki here. Before we get into the show, I need to ask you guys for a quick favor. Please take a minute to give us a review on any platform you listen to the show on, especially iTunes. Please guys, it really goes a long way and it helps to keep the lights on. Seriously guys, thank you for that. Uh, I, I can't say it any other way. It's a massive, massive uh, help for the show. Um, all right, that's it. Let's get into the show. Popcorn. It was literally like the first thing said. Well, that's what they did. Crushed it all over Arsenal. Um, I mean, you want to do the intro because I'm depressed. Yeah, we're talking about PFC 229 EFL Cup Final review. Caballero Cup Final. <laughs> Caballero Cup Final. Premier League match day 20. Want to say what? 28, 29. Almost at 28. 30, guys. 28, um, man. 10 games left after this. Oh I boy. mean, the Man City have 11, but everyone else is on 10. Countdown is on, and a little bit of a quick touch on Champions League from this past week. But let's get into it. Man, whoa. Yeah, Man City absolutely smacking up. I almost said Man United. Uh, absolutely smacking up Arsenal here. Not much of a game. Men against boys, as Craig Burley said. 3 nothing. Man City, TCB, Cup Final. Tom, your boys. Al, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, this was terrible, bro. This was disappointing from the get-go they were all over us arsenal we we fashioned a few chances in the beginning um i thought we might be able to catch him with the ball over the top to obama yang uh, but kyle walker man he made an amazing world-class intervention there um ozo put it across for obama yang that goal that right there could have been the difference you know just if obama yang sticks his toe out gets there first we score first, all of a sudden it's a completely different game. I agree. City are on their heels, and we have belief. Yeah. Um, after that moment, we showed absolutely no belief. We never looked like we are going to push on and win this game. Man City dominate us from start to finish, and you have to give it up to a, to a team who is way, way better than Arsenal, far superior to Arsenal. And um, Bayerine was getting eaten up all day by Leroy Sané. All day. I mean, this game was almost over when I saw the... Uh the, the team sheet, I mean, Welbeck or Wobie on the bench, you have no wingers starting out. Welbeck on the bench? Are you complaining about Welbeck on the bench? No, um, you have no wingers. You had Will Sheeran Ozil playing behind um, Aubameyang. But Welbeck or Wobie, once Wobie came on, he was he was a threat because he was actually pushing because Aubameyang, he was buying himself up there. You have to give him support. And look, Will Sheeran, he's a creative midfielder, so is an Ozil. Got to give him a little help with Wobie or Welbeck. Not enough speed. The only speeds that we had was um, Aubameyang, but it looked like he kind of pushed Ramsey up to the right a little bit. I, I always hated when he played Ramsey um, on the right side. I know that he would drift into the middle as well, um, but when they were actually uh, announcing the starting lineups, um, they initially had Ramsey playing that right wing position. So there was no speed. The only speed was Aubameyang in this team, like you said. Obviously, Lacazette's out, just got knee surgery. I do agree with your point about Iwobi, um having a winger, um, someone who could potentially change the game, but I don't think it would matter. You could have started I, I any Arsenal players. Um, but if you're making high school mistakes like um, Scrotum Mustafi makes, um, then then you're never going to stand a chance. No, I, I fully understand that. But at the same time, look at the well, one of two teams to beat City this year, Liverpool. Because they, have, they, they front press, uh, they, 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 they do a high press with yeah. speed up front. Make them uncomfortable. <clears throat> and with Wilshere, they're trying to win the midfield battle, I understand. But you have to... Uh, you have to just press so high up on that d- uh, defense from City Look. that they should have followed the the same path that Liverpool did. Look, the problem with that, man, is if you're a team that's not used to drilling high pressure. So Liverpool's been doing this for the la- since Klopp got yeah. there. So they're getting very good at it. Man City started last year when Pep got there, um, and Tottenham has done it under Poch. Other than that, man, it's very hard to to, to do a successful press against Man City. Um, I think Arsenal would have been burned just because you don't have the engines to keep up a press most of the game. Like you're saying, Wilshire, there's no way that dude can press. Fine, then they could have done a counter. Wilshire can they, press. They were, trying to, they were trying to counter, dude, but it was just, it's relentless. They, you know they, they were too stretched and there was no midfield. There's no I midfield. I think it comes down to not even just 
The decision's one thing. I think the squad was okay that they put out, but the formation. I mean, you play three at the back, uh, three center backs for Arsenal, Mustafi, Kashani on the left, Chambers on the right. Chambers had an awful game. But so, you, but it was mainly, especially towards the end of the game, it was three center backs and Aguero. Like, yeah. Why are you giving this guy that much respect? I yeah. mean, I know it's Kun Aguero. You let him let him go in the first goal, but you have three center backs marking one guy. They're chasing the game. Chasing the whole midfield. You couldn't get the ball. Man State were toying with it. In our in uh, in Arsenal's half, yeah. you know, by the fifty, Aren't couldn't get the ball. No one could press. Oh, but yet you get my three bad. guys back, and win and, 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 and the wingers couldn't do anything as far as uh, pressure relief. Well, our wingers were Nacho Monreal and Hector Bellerin, yeah. essentially. And hey, Monreal goes out. Yeah, well, Monreal goes backs, out yeah. um, with an injury early, so we're screwed right there. He's forced. He's forced to put in Colasanet, who Better for player. some reason is out of favor. <laughs> um, he he came in. He started hot. Then he got cold after the injury. Granite Shaka to me just way too casual on the ball. Sloppy passes. I think Shaka's a fraud. I think Scrotum Mustafi's a fraud. And I'm calling him Scrotum for a reason. Because he's just using like a bag of empty balls. You don't even have balls, man. No testosterone in your game whatsoever. Aguero for Aguero to be able to to just win. It wasn't even like a battle. He he, he it was so him. soft. He, yeah. him. he just he just stood his ground. That's all Aguero did. And this came from a goal kick. Big ups to Ederson for recognizing that. No, there's no Bravo. No, Bravo, my bad. Good call, guys. Um, there's no <laughs> offsides on a goal kick. So Aguero's already standing beyond the last defender. If you're the middle guy in the back three, golden rule, always keep the attackers in front of you. That's just the golden rule. He has to be goal side there. He cheats. He gets bumped off the ball. And that's not a foul. And I'm an Arsenal fan. That is not a foul. You know what that is, man? That That is one of the most underrated plays that City has. Because everyone expects him to go short. You look how they set up on that Bravo goal kick. Everyone comes short as they always do. They have... The center backs peel off into fullback positions, and then they have the fullbacks cut in, and the midfielders drop to the top of the 18. So basically, the goalkeeper has four options around his box. He can mm-hmm. go lateral, left, or right, Even more. or slightly yeah. higher. Dude, yeah. for him to see that that long ball was on, Aguero was one on one versus Mustafi, and two, to see Mustafi out of position, he's not goal side, he's on the wrong side of Aguero. I mean, that's an underrated play. Obviously, City. During you know the rest of the game, boss the game, but that intelligence to see that play was absolutely well, underrated. City, did, City didn't score again until the 60th minute. You know, it took him an hour for company to score his goal. You know, that early goal came out of nothing. You stop that goal, it's still a game. You know, zero zero one, even at one nothing, it was a game. You know, zero zero, it's still a game. Yeah, we, res- we responded relatively well after we conceded the first goal, but the As first always. two goals we gave up, we gave them. We City did not earn those first two goals. Yep. We gave him the first two goals. Speaking of that first goal, man, Aguero with that deft chip, man, absolutely delightful. This guy, world freaking class. He, was just 30, he has 30 goals in all competitions this year. God it's insane. But, I mean, it th- th- made zero sense why Mustafi would be at the half line. I mean, if anything, Mustafi he gets was behind sleeping. Aguero. You know what it is? No, he gets behind Aguero, and then you have Shaka or something right in the you middle know what to clog that hole. It's trying to jump the short goal kick. He gambled. Trying he got press. caught gambling. you 100% right. 101 defending. Goal side. He got caught gambling, half asleep, thinking, oh, they're going to go short. I could probably take a risk and press one of their midfielders if they kick it long. We have two center he backs didn't with look me. Over. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I have coverage behind me. He didn't look over and realize he's the last off. man. If you're the middle guy in the third, you should know that you're the deepest guy if you're the middle guy. That's the rule. Like You that's anchor the left center back and right center back. You're never in front of them. They, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. He gambled. It he was, gambled. He gambled. Bro, that's like he gam- knows, gambling he knows. your house on, you know, like okay, Mayweather, but, Conor McGregor. Like, nah. you know Mayweather's going to win that fight. Like, it's a stupid gamble, man. No, stupid look, gamble look, to I, make. look it's, it's a gamble that didn't pay off. I don't think it's necessarily stupid unless you get punished like this. But it's, it's high-risk, high low-reward. Yeah, What's a, the, reward a, you, is, you, the reward in it? The reward is pinning them in and maybe snipping a goal, uh, an interception. No, no, no. He was preparing to... In case they played uh, the ball short. through the middle, played short, he presses that next pass. That's why he got caught cheating, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's a gamble. Like, but it's a low risk. It's a low reward gamble. But it's also a low risk. It's also low risk. How many it's goals? High do we, risk. It's not high lately goals? because there was a goal scored off. No, of it. no, no. But it's it's not high risk because he does that ten times. I don't think he gets beat ten times for that. That's what I mean. He, by of course you do if you get the wrong side of the center forward. That's such yeah, a high it, risk for you to be the last defender and for you to get the wrong side. I'm sorry, Huss. I know you're biting your lip over there, but this is ridiculous. If you get in front of the Look, last I'm saying, attacker, I'm saying come on, on a bro, goal kick. Risk. No, I'm saying on a goal kick, City ten goal kicks. They kick nine point five short. 
So, therefore, I'm saying he's thinking 9.5 short. He didn't think about that 0.5 times where they happened to right. kick it long. So, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, the risk, I can understand why he took it. But it's one on one error. I think I think it's less of a risk, and we should be praising Kuniguero for and, being so clever. And Bravo, you know, and like bravo. I think more focus should be on Absolutely. him for being the clever son of a bitch, and being one of the best strikers of his generation for for playing that offside on the goal kick because he knew. And Bravo to and, kick and for, it and for taking the contact because as soon as Mustafi felt contact, he didn't expect that. He expected to back up and win it, the ball. It, the thing it is, just it threw him down, off, man. He got in his head. Yeah. Error. So that's why I'm focusing on Mustafi because you're an idiot. You're a useless. Paris, so, you're just you're, you're scrotum, son. When it come, when you it comes are scrotum. Down to the gamble, shall we say, we've been talking about. There really isn't a reward for doing that gamble. You can gamble other places on the field. If you really want to press, you can press yeah, other places, dog. but you still need to clog up that area and then keep them in front of you. That's that's where you can take a risk, making sure that they uh, hit it where you want them to hit it. You can't be giving. First off, <laughs> well, second off, rather. Third off. <laughs> almost the entire play <laughs> happened because Mustafi acted like a little girl. Or like a little, sorry, not a little girl. Because look, there, there's some, hey, uh, there's some of the women too, plays. Bro. There's some of the yeah, hashtag there's, time's there's some up, of the women bro. Plays that we hashtag saw, me too. Those, uh, those highlights that they would have ruined a girl on that. Mustafi barely got touched. He barely got a, a massage. He barely got a scratch on the back, and he just starts raising his arm. You're a center back. Because he didn't, he didn't, he didn't see it coming. Aguero. That's the thing, man. You feel when you're backing up, you feel someone hit your back, not but you, you know. Can't and to be, on. dude, to be fair, I've seen those given. I've seen those yeah. given as fouls. I've seen him he not given he, as he fouls. He didn't sell it. He should have fell. <clears throat> he should have fell. He should have fell. Mendy would have fell with a scream. Foul. That's that's where Italian. Was, that's where Italian would have fallen. Yeah, that's where embellishment comes into play. But I think that that risk that risk came to more just laziness. You know, if he's if he's not lazy, he gets behind Aguero, plays short, he steps up quick. Just switched off mentally. Yeah, just being lazy, man. You paid the price. You are a scrotum with no testicles. I think I think there's more of this game. Uh, Vincent Company getting his first goal since last May. Captain's goal. Uh, he played played again t- or played today, and uh, played the full ninety man. Lifted the trophy, and it was a great goal by him. Impromptu. He won the corner kick. It was their seventh corner kick. Man, you guys are just conceding, 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 just I, getting hounded. I've been saying this all year. Arsenal never leave a defender on the top of the eighteen. It makes no sense. Who marks like this? You play all zonal, and then you don't leave a man on top of the eighteen. This was. They might as well pull a, a Beckham Scolzi. Right, where they just chip it to the top of the 18, someone has a rip, except it wasn't in the air. They kept it on the ground, yeah. which for me is even more of a sin. Because at least, you know, like... Well, oh look, to be God. fair, it was a De Bruyne ground pass. We've seen him do 40-yard ground passes. But you're right, 100% I right. I could have made being, that ground I'm pass. I'm being for Jesus. Um, definitely. For Jesus? <laughs> for Jesus. For I'm, I'm for Jesus. For I'll take um, a chicken for Jida. Yeah, they definitely should have had that covered, man. That was that a cheap was one pathetic. to give away. It was, it, was from, it was from the training ground. Training ground, though. So, I mean, they maybe they, they were they looking saw. at you. Yeah. They were looking at you, Tom. They were exposing your weakness. They had seven corner kicks after the after the six. Hey, let's go short. Let's, let's, do, let's do the play. And that's the second and one that we gave two, up. They had, the city had two guys wide open. You know? How many? Two of them. <laughs> two so, men. I mean, defense like this, we see that's why Arsenal is 10 points out of the top four. And with this loss, Arsenal has to go all in with Europa. Has to. And they no, got that's, AC that's the last Hello. chance of lifting any silverware. That's the last chance of probably getting into Champions League. They they should go all in on Europa. So Wenger has no more excuses because the way Arsenal lost this match, we got completely dominated. Completely <clears throat> dominated. He could have been in the press conference, oh, we put up a fight. Or if we won, hey, we got some silverware this year, even if we don't make Champions League. Now, like you said, it's all on Europa. And... I mean, uh, Aubameyang is cup tied. Mkhitaryan couldn't play in this game because he was cup tied. Lacazette's out with a knee, so that Wolbeck. even that Europa squad is looking thin. Wolbeck, we know, can get injured at any time, so it looks like we have no strikers. We just sold Giroud to Chelsea. <laughs> who are we gonna bring on? Keita, who I like, but he's not ready for that. I don't think he's ready for that spotlight. <clears throat> Dude, Gubby Jesus uh, comes on um, from his injury. Looks like he's back just in time for uh, the second leg uh, of Champions League. David Silva also as well, who's been in and out of the squad. He gets himself a nice goal. The goal is way too Chambers. easy, man. Such a role, huh? Way easy. But that all stemmed from Arsenal having no presence in the midfield. Yeah. No one can get the no ball. Pressure. They're pa- 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 passing around like a training ground exercise. And there was no, nothing to slip it in. And Chambers just stood off, had to be strong, wasn't. And great shot, David Silva. Out of nothing, really. It was reminiscent of the goal that was scored um, <clears> against <throat> us in the Europa League earlier this week. Um, I mean, Jack Wilshere, poor first touch, gives possession away. Um, <clears throat> but again, Chambers gets rolled. And I think Chambers is finished at Arsenal. I don't see him being able to succeed 
at Arsenal. Maybe he can succeed in the EPL. Maybe he goes to a Southampton or revives his career elsewhere. But at this he, level, that was a, that bald black Swedish guy just rolls him with the move, tucks it into the bottom corner. Against David Ospina, <clears throat> David Silva, maybe not as skillful, but he just drops his shoulder on him, goes left, bottom corner, bottom right corner. It's the same. Did you not learn from your mistakes? You know what he needs, man? Maybe a loan. Loan in the EPL. Go out two years, Chelsea style. And then, like, look, I don't I don't know if you guys are in a position to be getting rid of, like, any talent. But I do think you need to start exporting this talent and letting him develop somewhere else and make these mistakes at Southampton, like you're saying. Here's what I'll say about Arsene Wenger, and then maybe we can move on off Arsenal yeah, and definitely. Man City. Wenger saps players' confidence. As he's gotten older, instead of coaches like Klopp, like... Pep Guardiola, who instill confidence in young players and veteran players, Wenger takes away confidence from players. Callum Chambers entered Arsenal buzzing, try to convert him into a right back, sapped his confidence. We see the same thing with Alex Iwobi. We've seen the same thing with guys who are mentally strong, well, like God. Alexi Sanchez. They can maintain it. Ozil, they can maintain it because they know they're world class. They've done it before. But even guys like Lacazette, who are good players, he's taken his confidence away. And I think as he gets older, that's what Wenger does. He, Dude, he takes <clears throat> players' confidence away. Even Ramsey, when you watch him play for Wales versus Arsenal, it's two different players. 100%. Well, and the big thing is, energy is contagious. You see it with the club, you see it with, at Liverpool. Uh, people want to play for him. Same thing with Mourinho, Conte. Yeah. Even though that their energy can you know turn sour at times, when they get in there, when things are going well, that energy is Infectious. completely... Yeah. Yeah, he's got McTominay playing like... A savage yeah. center midfielder. And now. you can see how Jose was during that game with Chelsea. If we want to roll that over now. But yeah, I mean, let's do it. Uh, near the end of the game, you saw Jose getting the crowd into it. When was the last time you saw Arsene do anything? <clears throat> the last time I saw any energy like that was actually when Arsene pushed Jose a few years back. Yeah. That was the last time I saw actual energy. And this would be the continuation. <clears throat> Jose's always feuding with someone, man. This was the Antonio Conti, Jose Mourinho. Justice. Um, heavyweight <laughs> battle. Suck it, Antonio. <laughs> Go back to Italy, bro. Dude, this was a robber baron game. United broke into the <laughs> bank late night, managed to not set off the alarm, opened the safe, grabbed all the fucking monies, <laughs> and ran away, dude. No, this security, was a security, game. Security dude. guard fell asleep. <laughs> hey, the line's credit, credit to Jose for getting only one goal against with Chris Smalling and Eric Lindelof with playing the center back pairing. Yeah. You know, that's right, impressive. Off, Should've guys. Been two. All right, you get it. Two goals. Should have been two. Was really it? Should have. Should have been. Was it? It wasn't because Lindelof and Smalling had amazing games. No, no. It was because your midfield, I thought, actually. Had no, they should have had two, but the line's been called off sides when it was clearly on sides. It was offside. Yeah, I mean, VAR. That's why we call for it, right? Um, until that changes, teams are going to get robbed and rewarded unjustly. I'll take it this time, but United's been on the other side. Arsenal, Liverpool, everyone's had a taste both ways. But it's slowly, I think, people are starting to realize it doesn't make sense, man. Um, but, yeah, we're talking Premier League match day 28. Man United 2-1 against Chelsea. United absolutely – it looked like an away game uh, for parts of the first half, man. Like, just no ideas, no creativity. As soon as they win the ball, it's basically try to find Lukaku, try to find Martial, try to find Sanchez and let them figure it out. Chelsea There's came no out. link in the midfield, between the midfield and the front three. It's shocking. Chelsea came out guns blazing. I think we saw the confidence of the result against Barcelona. For sure. The 1-1 early in the Champions League. They they had belief. Um, and, you know, you could tell they were going for it right from the get-go. But I do agree. I think that United's link-up play was poor. You guys just kept crossing the ball first half. There was no creativity. And I do think it has something to do with Alexi Sanchez being played out of position. I think I think it's more, dude, next time you watch United game, watch our midfield. Pogba, Matic, so and then whoever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. Always deep. So Pogba, I think, has, has been drilled into his head that he has to be defensively responsible, which means now instead of uh, taking risks and attacking freely, rather play it safe, make sure he's not caught out of position. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means, like you're saying, there's no link up. So what they try to do is get Sanchez to play more of a free role like Hesse Lingard when he comes on. Sanchez not quite figured that out. Also, the pace at which we play, you've called it out multiple times. The tempo so slow. The tempo on the ball is so slow. I understand if you want to pack it, be a pack it in team. We're cool, a counterattack team. Our counterattacks are fast as hell. They, they can be lightning quick but the thing, when they the happen, but you're, exactly. wait, you're waiting 15, 20 minutes for a counterattack. They don't happen, yes. And when we have the ball, that's why it's so important to get Pogba far up the field. He draws a defender out on the other team. Now we have a guy open, the space in behind. As soon as he gets advanced into the final third, shit starts happening just naturally. The field will open up. 
And today he was played, or uh, in Sunday, he was played in a three-man midfield with Scott McTominay getting his place again after the Champions League, Matic in the middle, and Pogba playing on the left, which is where his, almost his best position should be, maybe a little more yeah. advanced. Yeah, he should he should be more advanced, in my opinion. So he should be the link-up. As soon as we win the ball, Pogba, your job is to, to link him, up. Dribble up. But, like, get shoot. forward and link yeah. up. The problem is if you watch where United receives the ball, all the midfielders are in our own yeah. half. All right, always, half. because yeah. they're always trying to pick it off. Um, Smalling five yards away, or if Lindelof. Well, Smalling five doesn't play the ball away. forward. Smalling will only pass it to Valencia, but he or, can't. Or, or De Gea, but he can't because they're not showing. The only guy he'll pass it, he'll never, he'll never play forward. I but can't watch. Watch. Yeah, I can't blame There's him. No man. options for Dude, Lindelof yeah. does. Jones does. I'm not saying every single time. That's not play Smalling's forward. Game. I think that's not Smalling's game. Like, it's, it's the United way. That, that's you're supposed to play forward. This guy plays t- sideways. Nothing about United forward. right now is the United way. Yeah, for nothing what you're about talking it. about. Second place but, uh, but near the top of the table. That's United way. What do you know about that, Liverpool? Hey, second place. Got him. Second place is United way. Okay. Hey. Anyways, I said near the top of the table. The you top, dingus. Not the top. Near the top. Moral table. victory. So the, um, the three Easy years there. that really <laughs> Europa that really got uh, <laughs> got my eye. Look, uh, McTominay mm-hmm. did really well against Hazard, and he is becoming such a force for you guys at as a a youth product. Two. Marata, underwhelming again. My goodness, this guy is not he's not living up to the hype that he brought with him. Struck the post. And three, Rudiger. Both goals, in my opinion, Rudiger's fault. First one, uh, when that's all going around, Rudiger leaves his man to go and double, which I understand, but at the same time, uh, I, f- I forget who actually had the ball and passed it over, but just simple pass over, they scored the goal. Quick and simple because R- Rudiger left his man. And the second one with Lukaku at the edge of the box, Rudiger walks walks over basically barely barely jogs and if he sprints or really challenges Lukaku on that cross maybe it's not a perfect cross to link link guy I think I think it's more down to the brilliant United play and the build up <laughs> to those goals <laughs> who are you scoffing at man no, that, Cahill doesn't make those that I, second I, goal I like was Cahill. nice I, I think he Cahill stops at least one of those two goals well William opened up the scoring actually and uh, Chelsea in every game this season in the Prem that they've scored first they've gone on to win same thing with United. So for Chelsea to score first at Old Trafford, as oh, if they keep with their form, their, their history, they're going to win this game. But uh, luckily, the United came back from my perspective. But Willian opens it up. Like we were just saying, Scott McTominay didn't follow his runner. Mm. Inexperienced. Guy had a lights-out game. Other than that, you know, just one blip really on his game. Uh, let let Willian run in and Willian near post on De Gea. Kind of hate to see that he was pissed off at himself. He gave him, he gave him the eyes though, because you know? he looked but over. But he had Marat, he had Marata wearing the other That's side of the box. That's what I'm saying. So William like, gave him the eyes, looked over at Marata, looked his head down, and shot. So De Gea was kind of cheating for that ball yeah. across, which but is brilliant like, by William, man. Golden rule, right? Cardinal sin by goalkeeper. First post. You gotta, but dude, you gotta if you have a two, on, if you have a two on one though, man, it's you, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. Touch the ball is special enough. De Gea has done so much. Him taking that gamble for me, I don't see it as like a chronic problem. No, well, these are the games where we win the game for him. William, he's not like we he's, bail o- him he's, out. Always, he's always winning points for us. These are yeah. games where your goalie gives up the goal like that. You gotta bail him out when it was mainly a, mi- a midfielder issue. But now we have goals. We have goals in our game. Lukaku had a blinder of a game, I think. Even his hold up play, bullying, At the bullying end of everybody. The game, that one play they had where he pushed dude. the ball through, turned like, on, and then dude. he turned on. Ninety second yeah. minute, dude. <laughs> this dude. I was like, no oh. button. <laughs> so like, oh, fast. But you know so what? Fast. Look, his dad coming off the field. I was surprised by that. Why would he uh, sub him off? Fabregas doesn't start the game. They have Drinkwater start the game. I was surprised by that. I, going you know defensive. It is. No, going you know defensive. what it is, man. It's just, water and it's, it's legs. It's defensive, but it's also legs. Because this is a game Fabregas would have unlocked. I mean, legs like fatigue. That's yeah. all. So that's what I'm saying. Cesc hasn't been playing like that. He's all coming off injury. Okay. So like that could be it. Look, Cesc Cesc has had the lockdown job most of the year. So I don't think Conti all of a sudden he's been coming off the bench. Play that's the thing. It's not like Cesc has been starting. He can't play he every game hurt. though. I no, don't no. Think. You know, yeah. But Cesc, even, I think. Even, even let me look it up. Too. I think Cesc has played a lot of games this year. <laughs> even prior to. He's been coming on as a sub. The the, the the choice midfielders have been, you know, Conte and Bakayoko, mainly in that midfield this year. And Bakayoko, know, obviously, he's dipped in form. But for me, I don't know. I don't get what... Cesc, to me, is one of the best midfielders in the world still. Mm. His vision, his ability to pass the ball. Like you said, he can unlock defenses. And for me, all year long, Conte, it's been player selection. Willian, he hasn't played Willian all year. He's starting to play him the last four or five games. They're getting goals. Mm -hmm. So, look, Man United, I thought, was good in this game. Bad first half. But I did see some positive things. For me, the confusing thing was the role of Alexi Sanchez. He was playing underneath. It kind of shifted 
to uh, Martial and Lukaku playing in a two forward system, then Alexis the will come time, underneath. The only time it was two forward was when we're defending. So what would happen? They put Lukaku out wide. I'm sure for physicality and pace in case Alonso try to get around. Sanchez would go into the middle and Martial would come in. And then when the ball switches to Martial's side, Martial would go out wide. Lukaku would then move to the middle. Sanchez would cover back door. So that's where you saw that rotation of players. It was a defensive thing. When we attacked, he had free roll. He could yeah. go deep and get it. He could go high. He could go <coughs> wide, for sure. It, yeah. it was tactically, it was very I thought fluid. it was brilliant. Yeah. I thought tactically Mourinho did, did the business with that one. I just, I think that Alexi's at his optimal level. He's best used in a wide position. He has time and space, um, and he has runners. You can make better decisions there. But they won the game, so good on you. Yeah, it, I think his decision making is still a little off. You know, there are multiple who's? times Sanchez still he has that. When I compared him to William the other week, it's because William will always make the right decision nine times out of ten. He'll pass the ball. Where Sanchez goes against three guys, I can take him on, coach. Loses the ball three out of five times. You know, or he does it three times, loses it three times. Yeah, it's also, and there's an easy pass on the outside. We keep the ball in their final third. Instead, we lose it. We turn it over. Yeah, it's also that frustration that he comes with, man, just just being a lion. You know, he he wants to take them all on. And you're right. At times, it doesn't work. When he's hot, out of the five times he does it, he wins four, maybe three and a half of those. You know, so I agree with you. He's Rashford doesn't do that. Rashford will make the pass. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just have, a different personality. A luxury, yep. It's a different personality. He he's did it at Arsenal, put the team on his back. So he's seeing that United's kind of like stuck in second gear. So I think he's trying to make things happen. But to pass your point, the ball. pass the ball, release it. Pogba gets caught doing that as well, trying to turn people, roll people in all, all kinds time. of positions. Do you see what I'm saying, though, about Lindelof's pace? There was a time... When it was Lindelof and he looked like he might get there towards the ball, and it was him and Morata. Morata, maybe what was it? Was that wasn't Lindelof? Morata. It was Hazard, Lindelof, like the ball that was like played diagonal, across, diagonal, and then Morata took that touch. No, no, it was to it run was, onto it. It was I Morata. Think, was it Morata? Hundred percent. I don't. I don't recall the defender. Like Smalling was, was covering right in the sm- box. I think it was Hazard. Not in the box. Oh, okay, it was. I'm about it was out place. of the box. It was towards the halfway line, right in your um, in your half, Man United's defensive half. And Morata gets there first. Lindelof slides. Look, Lindelof had a decent game, but I think he can be exposed for his pace. That's all I think, I'm saying. I think that's the truth of most center backs. Mustafi Not can Smalling, get exposed. Eh? Yeah, no, no, Smalling. I think I think He's it's an athletic a, center back. I think it's a luxury to have an athletic center back. Lovren can get caught nowadays. Ah, look, I Not think the, the Gary delivery. Cahill. Pretty slow guy. Rudiger. Okay, he's physical, but I don't it's know fast. if in a straight line he could. I saw him get outrun a couple of times. By who? Uh, Champions League, it's, you know, it's savages, savages. I just think you need that athletic center back, especially. We have him. We have. We have. We have. Bailly. Bailly. That's you know, it. Phil Jones too. Yeah, he's pretty athletic but, as well. But pace. He's got no pace you know either. What I mean, John Terry didn't have pace. Like pace is a. For me, I think it's still a luxury. Obviously, you want it if you can get it. But I don't think. I think the brains are still where it is. Obviously, you it's want definitely the, the, the most important yeah. thing: the ability to read the game. But just keep an eye out for that, man. And cool, man. Aspicuata, man, he had such an amazing pass um, into into Hazard, Hazard's feet. I believe should have could have pulled back goals, man. Chelsea had their chances this game, but well, how are we not going to talk about? Well, near the near the end of the game, I mean, United did well with the defense, but Chelsea's decision making with the passing was horrendous, especially 85th minute and on. You they, know what that is, man? Give, it it's the Old Trafford big stage. You're shell-shocked. You're playing in a game where you they should be leading. Too much. Three, that's that's where, what I'm saying. That's like, where Man City, with Pep at the helm, says, calm down, guys. That's the Just only you club think. that can do that. That's like, why it's Conte's special. not settled. Seeing. Like Chelsea's no. not really settled. United's never settled. Liverpool's never settled. That's why you always give up goals late. Arsenal's never... S- it's really hard. I'm talking about offensively, not defensively. No, I know, yeah, but composure. I'm saying in a composure. game... Yeah, it's composure. In a game where Chelsea should have been up three or four goals this game, like especially Morata hitting the post mm-hmm. in that first couple of minutes of the game, like this game should have been TCB Chelsea from the jump. And then Morata all of a sudden... Up, not Hazard. All of a sudden you turn around and you're down 2-1 in the 70th minute away from home. The crowd's now in it. Like... They get pants. frantic. Yeah, you get Coach frantic. Is gonna the yell only at me. teams who can get through there are probably Barcelona, Bayern, Real Madrid, and and Man City yeah. in the world. Like consistently, obviously the teams who show up on a day. But two dudes we got to show respect to on this day is Romelu Lukaku finally scoring against uh, what we consider a big club, top six, yeah, uh, top six club. Um, it's been a while. Since, well, he, had he ever done it? 
Uh, this season, no, that was his first goal. No, first since he joined eight. United, it's his first goal, which is all that matters in my eyes. And that's what a lot of critics say, right? Oh, you don't do it in the big games. You don't do it in the big games. Who did he play for, Tom, before before he came to United? Everton. How, how good was Everton? Before that. West Brom before that. Chelsea, Everton. Chelsea. And, now, and now they're falling off without him. Exactly. Now you, we you see don't the have a 20-goal striker. Thank right? you. So, but now he's getting over that. So big, he, big respect to Big Rom. And he will get over it, dude. As soon as he has more support... Just like, you know, guys, obviously, there are guys like Kane Aguero who can do it, team or no team. There's certain guys you need a team around him to do it. Lukaku hasn't had service most of the year, man. And he, then and then there's certain guys who do it in the big games all the time. Uh, yeah. and this, is the, this is the second guy Tom was about to bring up. It was, the rat king. <laughs> the king himself, Jesse Lingard, Hesse. Hesse. Well, dude, what, what, Hesse I've, Jesse, I've made okay. comparisons to Scolzi in the past for the position he plays. That was a Scolzi-esque header. Late run Skulls into the box, dude. Skulls, Skulls used to score those goals, man. With his head? Same All the pos- time. Same position? All the time. When, dude, when he started out, he was, he was second striker. Essentially, when he Are first broke through. He's going back of him because he's United. Because <laughs> 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 <Like, laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, don't, you guys don't under, you guys understand the context, runs. man. When he when Skulls first came in, he played right off Cantona, second striker. He, played, he was almost a forward. Then he moved further back over the years, center mid, and then deep lying midfielder. But when he was first young, coming in, he was a short dude, five seven. He'd score with his head, left foot. Didn't matter. He'd get in these weird situations. Look at his highlights. I he's agree got, with He's got plenty of header man. goals. Just I'm just saying, he's a youth right. academy product. Okay. This guy works for the team. Hey, hey, hey big, big, up, big game play, and he scores in big games. But let's let's settle down with Skulls versus Rat King Lingard. All right. And by the way, his, like that his celebration pulls out the Black Panther celly. Absolutely brilliant. This guy's so top of those social, social media games on point. You ready to go? I just watched it last no, night. Bro. Oh yeah, no, it's oh, the, it? it's that way, that way. Yeah. We're black. We should know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, 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 Buzz. 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 Buzz knows. You're welcome. Buzz knows You're welcome. Yeah, Sorry, you sister, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hip. I'm no, down. Bro, I'm cool. Up. <laughs> Lukaku grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck, man. That was excellent piece of skill. Little scissor to get it onto his left foot. Perfect delivery. And look, you got to give Lingard his props. Coming in off the bench, man, this guy has the right mentality to play at Man United for years to come. And not only that, this game was enormous for United because if they draw or lose another match and then go as a city next and they lose that match... They might be in third place, fourth place. We would we would be in third slide. place because yeah, yeah, L- Liverpool hopped us. Yeah, uh, and they're they're four and went against West Ham. They yeah. went above United. So if you guys drew, Liverpool would have been on top by goal, goal differential. Points, yeah, by two points. Absolutely, man. Tight, tight at the top. Speaking of Liverpool, they played West Ham, beat up TCB four one here. Should have been a clean sheet, man. You guys constantly leaking goals. Picked up Virgil for <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> Thinking, ah, uh, West Ham, West Ham is West Ham. West Ham home? Come on. Yeah, they're going to score. Exactly. Yeah. Marko Arnautovic having, a, having a blinder of a tail dude, end of the season. He's having a se- <laughs> right? Ever Ever since this dude. He was playing well in the beginning. West Ham was shit with under Slavin. Uh, Moyes came in, kind of turned things around and everything. And Unsworth was er, no, it's Everton. But since Moyes has come in, Arnautovic, much better, much more settled. He, blonde hair now. Mm-hmm. Well, let's hold but on, dude, though. But dude, his stoke. And then during the spring, he absolutely disappeared. So let's see where he does or what he's, he does. He's not Cristiano, and, but uh, he's no, no. So in the next month, watch out fantasy wise, because he might just take a dip and fall into some sort of uh, abyss. Did him and Shakiri still getting it done. Dude, Bash Bro, Bro, Bash Bro is broken up, never destroyed. <laughs> wow. uh, and with Joe, uh, with, uh, and give it to Joe, Joe Allen with uh, them. We're gonna talk about the game. I don't know. You're the one that took it off into a tangent with the uh, Bash Brothers. It's Joe team. So when it comes down to it, this wasn't even a, a match Not really. for Liverpool. And and like I was saying before the show, it's getting to the point. If, if Liverpool scored th- two goals, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with them? Because everything s- seems to be clicking. Mane got on the board. Chan, he's putting all the distractions or all the rumors behind him. He's getting on Dude, the board. He's playing for a contract right now. He's he playing really well sign too. Him. He's this. He's advertising himself right now. That's why he's playing so well. Man. Could have had two goals with that Schurler he had. Yeah. Put, put it way wide. <laughs> Dude, got himself. <laughs> but he's too. he's popping up in the right spots though. Uh, you know, Ox might be. have. Uh, Ox might have the best. Assist of the year, where he like tripped and like it like hit off Dude, his was, leg. Was that intentional? I, intentional? No, no way. I have no idea. No <laughs> way. I think it was. Right? I think so too. I, think it was. I give him credit for that one. Because even it. after that too, he had a he had one where uh, Mane when Mane hit the post with his left foot, where he kind of dribbled across the middle like that and yeah. used the outside of his foot. So I think he tried to find Firmino, <laughs> and it ended up going to uh, Momo. Momo. And then Firmino had that great goal where. He, 
Uh, did he touch it through the goalie's uh, legs? Dude, that guy oh. was out there to break legs. I mean, Adrian? Uh, Adrian was out there to absolutely break legs. I don't think, <laughs> you know, that was his desire, to but he didn't life. give a damn. He no. did not give a damn. And luckily for Firmino, he got out the way. That could have been That's how you want to go out, though. If you're yes. going to come out, you got to take Kill the man everything. or take the ball. Yeah. That's the rule. And Ro- the goal- My bad. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to get onto something else. All right, let me say, Robertson, very impressed with your young left back. <laughs> Man was making gut busting yeah, runs all months. day, dude. Hull City signing, huh? Good for him. Fast, it's coming around. <laughs> That's it. Speed. He's his crossing ability. Okay, there we go. The crossing. It, uh, his dude, even if he's a track back, he's like a recovery. young, more athletic. James Imagine Jordan. if you signed McGuire. <laughs> if you <laughs> signed more athletic, better, <laughs> no, faster, oh, relax, relax. If more you composed. Si- if you signed McGuire and Robertson, you'd be laughing dude, at this stage. McGuire, you'd be laughing. That's right a sneaky now. little pickup. Well, for that was always I was always shitting on Liverpool for not getting McGuire, but for getting Robertson because he didn't play until January. Yeah. You know, and I've been I've been since been impressed by the guy, the young guy. But Harry Maguire, dude. Dude, even and Maguire you know, to Arsenal for a little bit of muscle, put a class guy next to him. A you big need a, tree. A soul an Campbell. An athlete, the heart. So I think we need something ugly there. like that. You do. We have too many Enough pretty boys. Yeah. Too many pretty boys. Well, don't forget Trent on the other side. Trent Alexander-Arnold. He had a really good game. First name basis. Right. Nathaniel <laughs> Klein's <laughs> coming back, Trent. too. So T? if they can get that one guy that is a upgrade on Matip and Lovren, Melner. Liverpool is in business. If Klein comes back to what he was. But let's be real. You played against a trash squad. Liverpool, I think, but right now have been playing against not trash squads because look, what you did to Porto was they've impressive. Only lost and look, once to be to in be like the last like two months. And to be fair months? with I'm Liverpool, yep. it's February and they've scored 103 goals and given up 46. So like it's two nothing every game. Yeah, we didn't see those kind of stats before. But only Man City has scored more goals, I believe. Yeah, um, Liverpool scored something like 65. Goals or something like that. It's like 62. In the Prem, I think yeah, it's like, like 75, that, bro, which is insane, man. It's insane. So, like, as long as you can get that one defender who can bail you out when you need that <clears> one nothing victory, that 2-1 victory to convert that into three points. Did you say clean sheet? Not even, no. I to said bail, bail you out. out. But, 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 hey, two, but, but yeah, Carroll is playing one this nothing, game. 2 nothing. That's <laughs> no, no, two one, sheet. two one, two one, nothing, oh, okay. two one. Right. Like that one goal would tie the game and because they're gonna get there too. Yeah, but it's even on the corner. Van Dyke, he's like double marked on the corner. Who's open? Chan. So it's again the signing well, not of, for long. of Virgil. Oh. Chan's going to you. Uh, I'm talking not about for Virgil long. right Enjoy. now. All right, all right. Uh, so when it comes down to Virgil signing, so far, it's been an upgrade. Obviously, for it's sure. been a good signing. Dude, yeah, you could have signed money's money, but Duh. you got to get that type of. They could have signed you, and it would have been an upgrade. To be fair, signed me. Yeah, yeah. Of it would have been an upgrade to that back line. Yeah, easily. You know what? I, I'd play a one back. Dude, shout out to the Liverpool fan. <laughs> one. <laughs> I'd just be me. Everyone else, just go up. Uh, it's because you can't run, dude. <laughs> That's why you hang back. <laughs> that guy's go. He's holding it right uh, Hang back. I got you. I'll hold it down. Sweeper. I'll Sweeper. cover you. Stand at the top of the I want to defend it better than Mustafa. <laughs> Woo. Uh, you every- probably would have done. <laughs> because I would have actually you defended. And scrolled him Even if I got ran by the dude. Like, oh even God. ran over me. At least you'll put your head in the way. Dude, shout out to the Scousers. Keeping it real. Booing the shit out of Evera. Didn't, didn't really keep it up all game. You know, with the passion. That they had for the first five minutes, but I love that man. Fans are just they never die hard. Hey man, you play for the team we hate. Oh, we You're not playing for them. Yeah, yeah we never forget. forget. So let's not forget the golden boot. Uh Harry Kane has twenty four, Salah has twenty three, Aguero has twenty one. What world is this? Salah just got bought for what? Forty million Euros? And he's yeah, look, man, every every now. every, every few up. years there's a guy who just pops out. Torres you know, did like, it for a year, twenty four goals in the league. Um yeah, you, you know, just buy him cheap. Jamie, Jamie Vardy had 24 when they won it. Suarez, yeah, came, in. Suarez came in for oh, cheap at, at Liverpool. Like, sometimes you just get lucky in the transfer market. Taking a risk on Salah, I mean... The he, team suits it, though. We want speed. We want pressing. But, and attack, attack, attack. That's but no one fits his style. He's, he's an yeah. anomaly. No, but, no, 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 but Klopp, credit to him for picking this guy to add to the squad because he fit, he's fit in seamlessly. Yeah. He's, he's, he's selfless. And he loves to attack. But he's got a magical, he's England, magical left foot. England very well might have three players above 30 goals in the season. Who? That'd be yeah, insane. It'd be three. Harry Kane, Salah, and Aguero. Harry Kane is, oh, is 35 England in the, the league. No, 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 just the league. I'm talking about like 24, 23, 21. Yeah, it's yeah. possible, man. There's is it, a lot of time left. That's insane. Mm-hmm. It's an attacking for league, man. Guys. Um, my tip of guy always crap on for not doing his plyometrics when he was growing up. He's so slow on the rotation. But absolutely balled out this game. Uh, not if Anatovich puts that ball in the net. The one they hit off the crossbar? Yeah, absolutely. 
No, no, absolutely. But that after that, he recovered. Yeah, no, no, you know he's feeling it when he goes for yeah. a chip like that. Chip running hey, away oh from goal. goal. What about the save by Carius? Yeah, yeah, that was some good. How about the not save by Carius? I was thinking about Kara when Antonio put that ball, and then I was like, "Crap!" I was, <laughs> was going to text you guys, dude. But that's that's um that's like clinical textbook. Like when you do forward drills and you're running Karras down the right channel, <laughs> you got to kick it low. Far post. That's always the drill. So hard it's to stop. Low and away. Shot, it's in, man. It, it's That's the, the best, best shot. Ch- it's the best chance you got. Low it's and hard. Shot. They did it to Arsenal twice. You know, David Silva yeah. did it, and then uh, the black so dude in the Europa League did it as well. Yeah. Like it's 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 a high percentage shot. That black dude was a problem. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's a beast, dude. <laughs> he's like a Okaka. Yeah, that dude was. Yeah, he's a menace. Um, I gotta give a shout out here to Mane. Who Mane. this dude was like bow, bow, cowishly bow, bow, clinical, bow, bow, so weird, bow. so weird, man. Yeah. He hits the, he hits he the post with that. his left foot, <laughs> and then like, was it Robinson who gave him that pass? Someone squared Mane yeah. an easy ball across the six with his right foot, just a tap in. He, he went for the little chip dink, right? He hits the post Inside. with it, and you see him. He's like hesitant, like, oh, <laughs> am I gonna get the rebound? So he's like a little bit off, which is weird because he's just coming off of a hat trick against Porto. I don't know what's going on with him in the EPL. It's different. But here we go. Yeah, good for him. He gets his goal next yeah. week. If he gets another one, he's what? you know starting to heat up. Yeah, maybe he finishes pick it off up. the year. Yeah, maybe he finishes with like twenty four goals. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gas. <laughs> so gas. Um, yeah, Ox played well, man. Still trying to find his feet a little bit, but at least he's getting minutes and he's getting minutes in a position that he wants to get. Um, so uh, shout out to Klopp for trying to keep Central a new signing happy, field, man. Yeah. It's very important. To keep his spirits up. That's yeah. the position I wanted Ox to come in and play, right behind the wingers. Because as a midfielder, he can be outstanding because he's playmaker. He has that uh, long range shot. He has the ability to go Take up and down on, the field. Yeah. And uh, just a little fun fact: Mane, even though he's having a bad year, thirteen goals, six assists in all competitions. That's pretty good for having an off year. Yeah, I agree. How many man. games? Just curious. Uh, Twenty nine. And the uh, good yeah. thing about this game is that Liverpool got to rest their front three. You know what I mean? Rest. Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, they subbed them off, man. They subbed oh. them off. Uh-huh. Um, they took play. out Mane, <laughs> took out Firmino, <laughs> took out Salah. So, like, for Klopp, that, that's that's the most important part of Yeah, Liverpool. he never used to sub, man. No. Back in the day, he never used to sub. Didn't trust the guys He's to learning his lesson. Yeah, man. It was, it was his third year in England. Yeah. Second two and second, a half. Yeah. But 87. You got minutes. Champions League coming up. Yeah, you got to rest these guys, man. You know the Don't league is locked injury. up. You're mm-hmm. not in the in any mate. Are they still? No, they're not in the FA Cup anymore. Uh-uh. Um, let's no. talk about Crystal Palace 0 Spurs won. What a bailout game. Al, I feel bad for you, dude. You and your Eagles. My flair with relegation, man. Yeah, you are. Back in 17th place, the Eagles. But uh, Harry Kane, sparing his blushes, had two attempts, really. I mean, one half attempt, one full-on attempt that he somehow missed. Went with his wrong foot. They should have gone with his right on that second chance. Dude, he had some Cavani moments. He did. That's all I could think of was him and Cavani. What? Yo. What? Huh? Why you got to bring up Cavani? He goes, Kawash. Man's clinical. <laughs> Man would have um, put those away. Yeah. I don't know, but well, one of the six. <laughs> if he did it. Uh, <laughs> no, three of the six, 50%. Uh, Oreo, uh, actually, Oreo. Uh, he's trying to be his uh, ex-teammate, and he missed the net a couple of times. Uh, yeah, Davies, soft penalty. This is a game where Tottenham very well could have scored seven seven goals, and they just look just horrendous. Finally, Mr. Kane shows up for them. Look, but like they say, that's the sign of a good team. You play bad and you still win. They 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 got so three points. cliche. Really got resilient three though in the end. You know, they hold on to fourth place now ahead of Chelsea who lost. So it was a big win for them. They'd be sitting outside the Champions League spots um after this game. Dude, I mean there's a new North Ru- North London. Nah, chill. Beast. Oh, we all know Manchester is blue. Above you two years in a row. We all know Manchester's <laughs> blue. It's all good. Burnley's only eight for points now. behind Arsenal. All right. oh, thank you, Hussey. Oh, they're in the race. <laughs> thank you, Hussey. They're in the race. Arsenal's and just, just so you know, Arsenal's only eight points behind Chelsea. So if we can say Arsenal can chase down Chelsea, we can say Burnley can chase down I'm, Arsenal. I'm not That's saying I'm not saying that Hussey, Arsenal what you're can't saying chase down Chelsea true. and Burnley can't As chase down palms Arsenal. Palms are sweaty. Knees palms weak. are fine, yeah, bro. Here we go. <laughs> That's all about palms Europa. spaghetti. Palms are heavy. <laughs> Dude, you got the yeah, All right, B-Rabbit. Shut up, Bob. Why don't you settle down over here? Going through a whole rendition. Who got the play to watch? What? Play really? to watch for which game? This game? Yeah, for this one. Oh, man. my boy, my boy, my boy, Alexander. Alexander, uh, was he? He's a uh, Norwegian dude. Sorloth. Yeah, Sorloth, man. This dude, 
just signed in January, six foot three, six foot four, big dude, nice foot skills, man. Palace always get these guys. They had been Teke. I mean, they have them now still, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, keep an eye out for this guy, man. Alexander Sorloth, Norwegian dude from the Danish league. But, FC uh, Michiland. Yeah, this guy's nice. We'll see, man. We'll see what he pans out to. Leicester, Stoke City. It finishes 1-1 here. Shakiri. With the right say? foot. Third, third goal in three games, dude. He scored a goal and then the last three games. Weak foot, like you said. Weak foot, low ground, sure. <laughs> It was like a little bouncer, too. It was like, yeah, those are tough to stop, man. Um, Leicester, they've been struggling as of late. Uh, but Butland, he had a good game, um, even though... Well, did he? Here's oh, a question. Look. Let's get into it. Real quick, if you didn't see this game, he had Butland a blunder, right? had a massive blunder. He had a... What's it? Not Heaton. Who Howler. Was, uh, who was the English goalie who had the ball? Rob Green. Rob had a Green, Rob Green or Howler. Scott Carson. There's so there's many couple, Yeah, there's a couple of so them. Many there's more than an error, right? It's, this was it's massive, dude. Like, this is an other oh, ball. Rob Green was leg. against uh, Dempsey. Yep. Back in the World Cup 2010, caught it, threw it in the net. And then uh, Scott Carson was against Croatia when they didn't qualify for the Euros. <laughs> Went to go save it, like, his chest pushed it into the net. <laughs> it was oh, one of those, dude. Oh, it was slippery out. <laughs> dude, Sucker. it was one of those that kill your career. You got a World Cup year where the starter for England's not playing at all, Joey Hart. All right, got R.I.P. for a goalie, bro. Absolutely. Thinking about this because you got Pickford who's shaky with his feet. He's young. His He's kicking young. sucks, yeah. but everything else Shot is stop. good. Shot stop. When it comes yeah. down, Mike to it. down to Fraser Force. Jack Butler. You. Has been He's not playing. Fraser Fraser Force is Jack, out of form at Southampton. Garbage. Has been linked with Liverpool time and time again this year, and that is a transfer I would not want to happen. Look, he's a good uh, keeper for an <clears> Everton. <throat> Four Stoke, but not a top six. He's not club. ready yet. Yeah. Still young. Yeah, he he's had a couple ready. good saves. That's why I said he had a good game because he made a, a couple other saves. Where I was like, he's a shot right. stopper, no doubt. But, but like yeah, again, that. once we talk top six, it's not enough to be a shot stopper. You got to be nah. clean. Look, mistakes happen. So I'm not sitting here saying this is going to kill his career. But in a race where he basically only has to beat Pickford, he can't have he can't have blunders like this, man. Disappointing from him, but he'll recover, dude. That's he's, why it's, he's it's a, a, a tough toughest position. You know, on the field is goalie. Agreed. For these moments. One mistake. Yeah. One mistake. Uh, <laughs> one mistake. That one ends You want one steak? One. What are you? <laughs> uh, he's hungry. <laughs> uh, West Brom won Huddersfield to Van La Power. I love this dude's name. Scores for Huddersfield shortly after the break. I just like his name because it's kind of close to Vanessa Roy. Mm. Van. No, that's it, right? Oh, yeah. Who's that van. wrestler? Yeah, <laughs> just a van. <laughs> Who, who's the wrestler? The Dutch, the Dutch wrestler hussy. What was his name? Roger Van Dyke. No. <laughs> Ray Van, Ray Van, some Ray Van Winkle. What the hell's his name? The wrestler. wrestler. Was Van Dam's brother? You guys don't watch wrestling back in the day? Rob, 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 Rob Van Dam. Um, not Ray Mysterio. It's Boss v- Rutten. No, never mind. About? Forget it, people. Van Dam? <laughs> no. Yeah, we throw it's, not, it's not John Claude. I didn't say actors. Do I don't know what we're talking about, actually. <laughs> he was a wrestling. Dutch, a Dutch wrestler? I said wrestling four times. You like from know. WWE or real wrestling? I don't know wrestling. There's wrestling then. There's I don't watch wrestling. MMA, which is mixed oh, martial M- arts. Yeah, that's why I said Boss Rutten. <laughs> Do you know any wrestlers who wrestle like in the Olympics? <laughs> no, no. no, that's wrestling. No, I, oh, I don't watch wrestling. wrestling in the Olympics. No. I'm, that talking, was I'm talking about like, WWF, WWE, uh, wrestling. A Dutch dude. <laughs> I don't remember a Dutch dude, bro. I remember the Here British Bulldog. Fuck you, fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Dutch <laughs> WWF guy? <laughs> I will look for him right now, but let's keep it moving. Steve Mooney. <laughs> I haven't watched wrestling in like like 20 years. I think the last time was like oh, 10. <laughs> I love what I was looking for. Rob <laughs> Van Dam. You guys well, are really what I said, said bro. Uh, did you? And you like, I want to talk about actors. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I, I said John Claude. I said John Claude. <laughs> because I had no idea what we were talking about. That's his brother. Right. That's John Claude Van Damme's yeah, brother. brother. Look, yeah. I don't know if that's, is that a fact, his brother? That is, is a it fact. One of those that's his bro. Yeah. Like nah, each other. This guy was bro. born in the United States. I remember that States. was a story. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> nah. I don't know. Muscles from Brussels. Was dude, bro, it's a fact. I think you got Look how hard you're selling it. I'm not going to renege. I'll tell you that much. Hey, that's a little racist, bro. Let's watch how we talking here. Hey. Uh, Steve yeah. Mooney, another goal for him. <laughs> Craig Dawson pulls one back to kill everybody's clean sheet. I love it. <clears throat> West Brom looks like they're the first victim, man. We didn't have one on January 1st. But these guys are in the... I mean, they've lost their last five games. Yeah, so but, poor. No, last four. But nothing about West Brom says that they're going to stay up. And there was a there was a, uh, a story that came out with Evans. There you go. Uh, who was it? Evans, Livermore. Barry and I forget who the last pl- player was. Oh, Mayhill, Myhill. 
they but, stole a taxi in Barcelona or something while they're training oh, over yeah, there. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard but, that. But, but like, these are your captains. These are seniority players. Oh, like Gareth Barry was out there. Yeah, he's like the oldest dude. And, and the Evans. most experienced. Fuck it, boys. Player. This is these We're are your captains. Wild. These are your like leaders. And guys, no. Oh. Let's go steal this taxi. Like, yeah, they, 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 they know it's the, they know it's the uh, yeah. Gareth Barry's not gonna oh get signed God, for another Premier League team. He's going down with the ship. But if so you're a partner, partner, if you're partner looking partner. at this team right now, after that happens, you're like, yeah, we're going down. There's Dude, no there's dancing there's on no, the touchline now. They yeah. needed this game too. <laughs> West Brom, eight points from safety, ten games to go. <clears throat> Still manageable. Yeah, Leicester, well. City, Leicester City won seven of nine when they stayed up. I'm pretty sure something ridiculous like that. So if you win seven of ten. You're going to stay up. Does that mean West Brom will not finish the year with Alan Pardew as their manager? Well, they it's will. Too late. He'll, he'll, late. he'll either stay late, and go dude. down or he'll bounce because it's not his fault they're in this spot. He came in to try and save them. Yeah, it's too yeah, late. It's dude. a tough job. If you were going to do it, you should have done it five games ago. Um, Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Newcastle. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, man, this game. I predicted a draw, but I think um, we're all kind of sweating if you did predict a draw. Newcastle goes up 2 0. Dwight Gale on fire lately. Um, nice little neat finish. He gets the rebound from the goalie with a nice <laughs> little All by back. himself. Yeah, cheeky back heel in there. Still got it. Cheeky um, but then, slag. Yeah, then he shows, you know, strike his instinct um, to be a poacher in the next goal. Right time, right place. Good little finish. Um, but then Bournemouth, man, able to show heart, fight back, and make it 2-2. Adam Smith coming in off the bench, scoring in the 80th. Then Don Dan Gosling. <laughs> Don. Don Gosling. Dan Gosling saving a point. Um, for the Cherries in the 89th minute. So, clearly, um, the manager of Bournemouth, what's his name? Howe. Eddie Howe. Clearly, thanks, boss. No clearly, Eddie Howe has not lost this locker room. They still have belief, but they have to stop with these slow starts, man. Yeah, they, but that, that uh, the first goal, Smith, holy cow. They had a nice little flick. I forget who had the flick on there. Who was that assist? Uh, that was uh, Lewis Cook. Just a nice little heel flick. Smith gets it. Crossbar in. Man, mm. that ball was flying, too. Ping. And then, you know, the composure of Bournemouth was outstanding at the end. That's the difference that I was talking about with Chelsea. Uh, true that they're facing Newcastle, not United. At the same time, they're passing the ball around. And then, I don't know, just like, oh, Gosling's right there. Okay, boom. Yeah. Pass and just redeflects the ball in. But that was just because everyone was calm with the ball. Rafa's got to be disappointed, man. For a guy who's known for shutting it down, team being organized, for them not to be able to get three points out of this. Very disappointing for the Magpies. Are they the Magpies? Yeah, yeah, they are the okay, Magpies. Okay, I was thinking baggies. I was confused. The baggies? Hey, yeah, you like the baggies. Tea bags. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't like scrotumless, scrotum Mustafi. Brighton, Hove, and Albion, four. Swansea City, one. Mustafi, player Something. of the weekend. <laughs> uh, Swansea City, man, on, that on the rise. Of the week. Uh, this, this is the <laughs> scro- <laughs> <laughs> Mustafi of the week. Mustafi of the month. How's that? Alliteration for you. <laughs> uh, Swansea's uh, first loss in six games. Uh, they're back into the relegation zone in 18th place. Glenn Murray put them up early, 2 nothing for Brighton. Uh, Canarkart, great goal, even better celebration for Brighton's third. Jurgen Locadia. Locadia? Locadia. Locadia. Jurgen uh, completes a scoring with a goal off the bench in the 90th. Um, Duffy hit the woodwork and also gave away in. Uh, oh, Duffy hit the woodwork. Dunk had the own goal. Uh, it's his fourth this season. That's a record. <laughs> That's a record for a Premier League defender. Dude. EPL, so 93. Um, so he's wrong. tied. He's tied with uh, <laughs> that is so bad, Martin dude. Skirtle, formerly of Liverpool. Hey, hey. Always a four Liverpool. on the season. I mean, let's not forget, right now, uh, Murray, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven goals in two, four, six, eight, nine matches. Glenn Murray coming alive at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah he's is. doing work, man. Absolutely. Burnley won. Southampton Saints won. Gabbiadini, Tom's boy, gets himself a goal. Um, Charlie Austin's late so goal. Absolute bailout Dude, goal. Dude, this guy scores special goals, man. I told you, he's not Dude. He's not like prolific. He's not going to score a ton. But when he does, man, they're always like bangers, like yeah. a nice left foot. Dude, it was a special goal in this yeah. instance because it ended Burnley's chance of snapping a 10-game winless run. You know, they're a minute away, two minutes away from getting their first win in 10 games. Now it's gone on to 11 with this draw. Um, they're still solid, still resolute. Lots of draws in that run of 11, but that's, a, that's bad. You can't trust them fantasy-wise, he, can no. you? He stole eight points from me. <laughs> yep. He stole a lot of points from me also. And then Watford won. Evan and <laughs> nil. Troy Deeney with the game-winning goal. I love this guy. Great first touch. 
and they just kicked the hell out of the ball. Great celebration. He looked, he looked like a fat kid trying to run to his parents at one point. Dude, <laughs> when yeah, when right, he stopped yeah. and then ran again, I was like, dude, this guy is th- like thumping feet. Like, dude, <laughs> this kid so just learned bad. how to walk last week. But Chunky as hell. Need to read fantasy talk. I went off on t- Trey yeah. Dini saying why he needs to start scoring, how he's going to start scoring, and he needs to put Watford back on his back like he has in the past. Well, he did, he did now, and uh, they sit just below, or Everton are now just above Watford um, in ninth. Two wins in six, one point above Watford. So still in good shape from the start of the head to the season when they were almost going to get relegated. Um, but this is a game they should have won. Quick point. Um, you know, I've you know I've been buzzing about Idrissa Ghana, uh, the defensive midfielder of Everton. And I'm going to back off a little bit because, you know, Stefano Okaka made him look like a little boy. Uh, there was a point in time we just turned him. And Ghana grabbed him by one arm, like his right bicep. <laughs> and Okako was just riding with him like a bucking Bronco. Dude. And he managed to follow him. But, like, all right, we need some strength in there. Look, to be yeah. fair, man, it's Okaka, bro. <laughs> like, who's stopping Okaka? Like, he is the Black Panther. <laughs> he is, dude. He's such a beast. And you know what? To Corey's form, still picking up. This Love is, it, This dude. guy's being uh, linked with multiple top teams. Should be. Uh I, who are we gonna say? Maybe he has the potential of being a poor man's Yaya. I uh, look, he can, man. He can. He's got legs, more legs than Yaya did. I know in his career, Yaya was famous for the runs, but the core has that pace too. Um, got power. Got a little bit of silk about him as well. He's he's a true box to box. It's not the worst look, comparison. I don't, I don't think he's ready for a top six yet. Um, I think go to West Ham, Everton, maybe what about even Arsenal. Put him there instead of know, look, It's too it's too much of a problem he's at Arsenal a right true now. Defensive midfielder. Yeah, he he's a box to box guy, and we have we have those guys in Jack Wilshere and though. Ramsey. And and Arsenal needs someone with a reputation, man, to come in there and rescue him. Um, Beep boop. Oh, you got something. Sorry, real quick, I was just gonna say yeah. four points separate thirteenth to nineteenth. So the relegation battle. West Ham That's two crazy. bad results. They could find themselves in the relegation battle. They're in thirteenth right now. It's deep. Beep boop. This episode of the Podcast FC Show was brought to you by CLNS Media. CLNS Media was started in March 2009 as CLNS Radio. CLNS Media provides an online radio and digital media network which features a full seven-day-a-week broadcast schedule with numerous personalities and celebrities from across the world of current events, entertainment, technology, and sports. Stop by in <laughs> uh, CLN, uh Additionally, CLNS employs both full and part-time journalists, commentators, and producers from around the world. They utilize its, uh, their staff members' geography to deliver global news and unique commentary and perspective, all in written, spoken, and visual formats. So that means if there's a game happening in Turin, they get someone on the scene there to report back to headquarters with live on-the-scene coverage. Uh, based out of Boston, CLNS is a credentialed member of the media. And if you want to find out more, take out your, off, your iPhone, your iPhone <laughs> or your Android, go to your app store, Type in CLNS Media, and you can download it for free. That's right, people, free. So either open up your iPhone Android, download the app, or go online. Type in clnsmedia.com. Check them out. Love it. Uh, real quick, <coughs> we didn't have a chance to do Champions League midweek, so we're just going to give our thoughts real quick. Obviously, the big game was Chelsea-Barcelona, a game that Chelsea maybe should have stolen from Barcelona. Barcelona in control most of the game, but nothing really threatening. Chelsea looked good, man. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea looked really good. They hit the post. You know, William hit twice, the left twice. post, twice. right post. Like, I mean, th- again, for me, that was the play of the game. William, this guy, man. It's, like, I, I'm, I'm coming around. I've come around. I see it, yeah. I, I see it now. For a long time, you're like, I want him at United and all. I was like, he's good, but he's not... Like 86, 87, man. This guy, he's a difference maker. Yeah, 100%. Man. But only that, we saw again that Cahill wasn't playing. And again, there was a defensive blunder for Chelsea. They gave that goal to Messi. That's bullshit, dude. Uh, Young Christian. The run should have gone on. Messi never scored against Chelsea in his career. Never scored at the bridge. Chelsea, Barca never went at the bridge, except Iniesta goals late. But I was careless, man. What are you, Tom? Never passed across the 18 yeah, as a man, defender. That square oh, yeah, ball. But sliding out at, uh, against, uh, was it, Iniesta again in the ball? You know, come on. You know, it's funny. That was Aspil 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 Yeah, no, but still. You should have won that ball. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about all, the entire defense, oh. not just one player. Aspil should have bailed him out, dude. He should have won that ball. I don't I'm know. Like, you, that's a game-losing tackle. That's it, man. It wasn't his fault that that happened. But you, you're, you got to win it. It's a team sport, right? Yeah, when your teammate fucks, he has to win that tackle. It's funny because it's inexperience, right, in terms of um, his 
just decision making his passing his execution of the pass Christensen he did it against Man United as well he got pressed a little bit could have taken a touch but he tries to hit a first time pass and gets lucky goes out for a corner kick yeah. so we're seeing that Christensen I do think he's close to special I wouldn't call quite call him special but, but he's he's a very very talented young player um, but it was just it's just a shame dude, it's, it's, to it's, see him go out like that yeah man it's look it's growing pains it that's is. the risk you, you take you can look at Lukaku touch of a rapist dude at times but over time, he's going to get used to holding people off, and he's going to cushion that ball. Christensen, same thing. He's going to make mistakes. Stones, we see it right now at Man City. You just got to trust these players. He's trying to play the right way, a.k.a. Yes. don't boot it. Unfortunately, when you play like that, even City gets boot caught it. out. Sometimes right? Sometimes you got to. So <laughs> he's looking good, man. He's looking Claudio good. Bravo. It's unfortunate. But Christensen's, I can't wait for the World Cup. See guys like him, see what he does in the World Cup for Denmark. Like, It's going to be amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Um, any other thoughts on that one? No. It's just 1-1. One, one. This one's still wide open. Prediction? Who goes through? Barca, yeah. man. Barca going to get two goals at the at the camp. That's just so hard. I mean, if Chelsea, Chelsea need to get one at least just to, just to oh, cover shit. their ass. Yeah, but if oh, Chelsea man. beat Man it's United, ugly. I would be, you know, I'd be more apprehensive to, to, to pick Barcelona. But I got to go with Barca. The way Lionel Messi's playing this year, Suarez has picked up his form as well lately Look, at the camp. They'll take care of business. Chelsea still needs to play City uh, before they play Barca. So, like, who knows? Maybe if they smack up City, they'll go in with tails up. But, yeah, it's ugly, bro. Chelsea, 2-2. Two, two. So, the Whoa. way goes. Way goals go on. Whoa. Love I it, like that shot, dude. He, he did that for Farid. <coughs> did that for Coutinho. Hey, still got some love there. Salty. Nah, I don't know what's up. Sterling. Sterling love, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is not there. Uh, Buy me <laughs> five, Besiktas zero. <laughs> Do they even need to have a second leg for this one? No. Hey, Besiktas just won three one on the weekend. They're coming in hot <laughs> too. So get zoo, bro. It was a it was a, it was a heat arrivalry. Okay, heat but arrivalry. Fenerbahce versus any other European major Champions League hey, club. Van Percy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> RVP. No, he's not there, man. He's at PSV. He left. Oh, he's yeah. home. Oh, damn. That early he's scoring God, goals God. at home. <laughs> Such a savage, dog. He's such a beast, dude. They give him the ball. All he does is run around Yo, the field. To give me the ball. Just give me the give ball. Give it to my left foot. Just pass to my <laughs> exactly. left foot. I'll do the rest. He's a stud. Uh, what are you saying, Hus? I'm just saying the red card. I mean, that just killed him. Yeah. So yeah. If he had got the red card for Bashik Gus in like the 18th minute, and after that, I mean, they kept it respectable until late on, and then they just gave up two, three goals right at the end. Next but match is for experience. But yeah, that's got yeah. all the old dudes who are, like, good at a point. You need 11 guys like to get Pepe, five. Ryan Babo, Gary Medell. Like, all these guys who are aging, charisma, like, yeah. but they still have some talent, so... Hopefully they get it. Just get get some goals next That's leg. It. Let's Bashikas. not get blanked. Yeah, get some two goals. Legs. And Sevilla, Man United, big stalemate here. Um, United was lucky. My goodness. I mean, Sevilla at times. I, I mean, yeah. I sent you guys the text. Like, passing, first touch, movement, everything was like a 9 out of 10. Finishing, 2 out of 10. For Look, Sevilla. I think they had 25 shots on the game. And United, I think, had like 4 or 5, if that. But so there were a lot, of, th- a lot of those shots, man. We'll let them shoot from the sideline. If they don't shoot from the corner of the 18 with a bad angle, okay, De Gea is in that. He's not going to let those no, go in. But it wasn't, it wasn't those kind of shots. They're, they're, no, 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 no I'm saying, I'm saying, the tw- I'm saying let me, let me, 25 of them, 20 of them were from that, like, from like that. You know, it was five or six inside the 18, two or three really good chances, you know, but it wasn't like 25. Oh, they were all, all could have gone in. No, but they had eight on target. I would say at least four of those very well could have been a goal. I yeah. just think it's telling that De Gea got man of the match. That, yeah. that should and let United you know. had one shot on target. That's so it's, surprising right Yeah, there. man. But look, this is what Jose wanted. United had chances to steal the game McTominay again. We had McTominay playing center mid. No Pogba in this me? game. No Pogba. McTominay's well, playing in Champions fair, he League. Came on, he came on early, Pogba. Yeah, he came on when like Herrera, 10 minutes. Yeah, when Herrera got hurt. Look, 17th minute. Guys, it just comes down to Jose tactics. It's, it's fine. not about the players. It's about Jose tactics. He told the guys, don't fucking give up a goal this game. I don't care what you score. Do not give up a we goal. We don't have to win. You know Exactly. But we cannot Navis, lose. Navis uh, at the right backs, he looked good. Yeah, Navis and versus Rashford and Martial. He was yeah. out sprinting uh, Sanchez. 
Got him a yellow card. Uh, he did really well. That away there. goal, though. You guys have to be wary of that That's away the problem, goal now. Thomas. You no, just, we just can't lose. We just got to beat them at home. That's all it comes down to. But you it, could one one. it could be one-one. It could be one-one. It could be one-one, and then you're screwed. That's, That's my final score. You, you guys are hey, there's, no, there's, there's enough pressure on that. Fuck off. There's, <laughs> there's enough pressure on yourselves. Hey, <laughs> we, we bring this home. We just got to win. If you don't win, it's on you guys. If only it was that easy. For sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. It's the ideal position Life's nicer than away goal, but you go at home. Don't You can't lose at home or even draw. I mean, tell Hutter's that. You know what I mean? So. Sevilla is a different happen. team than they were at the beginning of the year too. They're they've re- they're really engaged in the uh, in all the games. Your shoulder okay? In the last yeah yeah. <laughs> check make sure it's still there. Solid son. I'm like hold myself that up again, bro. Do do. Barrel. You flex on that one. When it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, when it comes down to it, United really have to be wary because Liverpool sure, saw man. both sides of Sevilla's season this year in one game. When they went up three, then they <laughs> they conceded yeah, three. Man. Right yeah, now, man. United. You can concede three against Sevilla very quickly. Eric Bai will be back in that game. Give me Love a different game. To get a record? Huge. Give me a different game. <laughs> oh, what do you, what are you scan the room oh, for? Oh, my God. You know what? Record? How about Sandra Ramirez coming on? And if he just hits that shot oh one God. timer, <laughs> oh you, I would not have let you guys let that down. I was dying during this game, man. Just constant heart jolts. The whole game. But the whole game. He was 12 yards Sarah, out, and then he tried to cut it across. Yeah. Hit it, boo. First Come time. On. Shakta 2, Roma 1. Um, we this call one. this a Fugazi draw. This was like out of all the ties. We're like, dude, yeah. both these teams should be paired up with PSG and Real Madrid. That should be it. That's that's what I meant by Fugazi draw. Like, this is just a <coughs> garbage matchup. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, every weak team should be. This is the charity matchup. Team. This is like, it hey, is, we man. want you to get the extra money to see yeah, if you dude. go through the this quarters right here. Let's give it a shot, though, Roma. Let's see what happens. Roma. I like Shakhtar, though. I like Shakhtar, too. I like them to go through, man. <clears throat> Look, they got a crucial away goal. Obviously, Roma lost two one, but a crucial away goal. So essentially, it's two two. You can say, or you know, the goal's worth an extra half point. Um, so they just got to go home. Hopefully, keep a clean sheet and score one or two, and it's over. Fred, Speed. Fred, being linked, linked with Manchester City. You know, you can lift this, right? Like, yeah. That's why we got the flex. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> about to run out of here for for practice, but Shakhtar speed. All about speed for that team. Well, speaking of practice, let's get out of here. I think that's all we got for the show, guys. Um, Please keep supporting the show. Keep downloading the podcast. Check out our store, too. We're going to put new merch out very soon. Things are cooking in the background. Um, Enjoy footy, man. Enjoy Champos League, I think, again this week, right? Or is it Enjoy your family. Yeah, enjoy your good oh, health. Like we're we're, we're going to enjoy you know, your legs. There will be the countdown to the World Cup, man. So less World than 150 coming. days until the World Cup starts. Woo! Speaking of fantasy, I think it's 100. Thir- I could be wrong. Thursday, we got it's Arsenal like City for the league. So it's almost like a rematch. Let's see if uh, Arsenal can at least, you know. Nope. No, okay, never mind. Nope. <laughs> Not All right, guys. Let's see if they can show up. <laughs> Just show up. Nope, they're going to miss the bus. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Peace.